What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing or unpackaging rather. We'll find out what's in here in just a moment. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. There's a link for my Patreon right down in the description and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. What do we have in here? Eh, let's put you right there. There we go. <clears throat> we have... I never quite cut it long enough. There's a thing that's very tightly wrapped. And we have, sorry for all the, <laughs> oh, he's done a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so this is from uh, FG Blades on Instagram, so please give him a follow. And let's see if we can get underneath this tape here easily with just my fingers. Hmm, okay. Oh boy, here we go. So, I don't normally review fixed blades, but I thought this looked cool, and I had never, never heard of it. Some of the stuff that Kaiser comes out with, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm not really super interested in it. And other things they come out with, I'm like, yeah, that looks kind of neat. I didn't even know Kaiser did fixed blades, honestly. I mean, maybe some of you guys did, and you're like, are you serious? You didn't know that? But this looked like a reasonably sized fixed blade that had a little notch back here for your finger, and you can choke up right by the edge, right? It's got a nice, nearly full, I mean basically fully flat ground blade other than the swedge up here. Uh, and then we've got D2 and some interesting looking um, scales here. So I will make sure that this is listed down below if it is available. Uh, let's see. Okay, so he's just some information there about it. But yeah, this did look interesting to me. And um, Kaiser always does a good job with fit and finish. And as far as I, by the way, here's the designer, Maverick Customs. So there you go. I'm unfamiliar with him, but just so you guys know, Kaiser always does a good job with fit and finish, and to my knowledge, they've done a pretty good job with heat treatment. So um, this appears to be more of, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of different uses for it, and it's probably got a specialized use, but if I was going to EDC a fixed blade, this is around the size that I like. The other reason that I was attracted to this is because it reminded me of the Chris Reef fixed blade that I just went absolutely bonkers for, but is now discontinued. It was longer but I love the idea of being able to choke up on it and get my thumb up on that spine in a really comfortable position. And yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling here. You can get just barely a full four finger grip on this guy. Yeah, I, I think this is something that I probably would really enjoy using. And I can't imagine that it's horribly expensive given that it is, well, I said, G, did I say G10? I think this is actually, well, I think it's my Carta. Maybe it is G10 and I'm just stupid. In any case, I think it looks really good, whether it's G10 or my card. I feel like this is layered. Maybe it is layered G10. I can't really tell. <laughs> I'm sorry. Obviously, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. I've never handled it before. Here in two to three weeks, you guys will get a full video on this guy. I'll give you guys my thoughts. It's fun to mix it up periodically. I'm I'm not a fixed blade guy, right? If I'm gonna use a fixed blade, it's really not for anything crazy. It's just gonna be for some outdoor projects and little things here or there. It's gonna be pretty light, right? So I can only offer that perspective. But you know, the ones that catch my eye are, it's a combination of good looks and what, what look to be good ergonomic lines, something that's a size that I would actually wanna carry. And by the way, let's go ahead. I'll, I'll give you guys a measurement on it just so you know. Overall size of this guy is actually, it's only seven and three quarter inches, but you're looking at, jeez, yeah, three, almost 3.75 inches of cutting edge. That's pretty cool. You're getting a lot of cutting edge there. And, you know, if your hands are larger than mine, then you won't be able to grip it like this. But if your hands are about my size or smaller, this is pretty comfortable. Um, I like it a lot. I, uh, let's see if I can... It says Kaiser Harpoon Fixed Blade D2, my card to handle. Okay, so it's my card. I just need to read. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think that's all that I, that's all the information I have. So the listing down below will have it properly listed, possibly in the, the title of this video. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's pretty cool. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.